Okay, so I asked a guy today straight out uh, what Moon Aim was, and he couldn't answer me. Now, this is a fellow that's uh, been listening to me talk about this since the beginning, so for over two years I've been talking about this. And uh, he was probably just embarrassed and didn't want to admit it, So, uh, but the, the, that's on me. Uh, it's my job to make it so simple uh, everybody can understand. So I'm going to have to talk to you like you're a child with respect, okay? So I'm not going to call uh, anything a, a scientific name. We're just going to say that that first one that looks like uh, you cut off your your big toenail. That's uh, I won't even tell you what they call that. Okay, doesn't matter. I'm calling it. Uh, uh, well, let's go to the middle one first. Okay, that's a half moon. Okay, and uh, it looks like a bow uh, with the the string going through uh, from tip to tip. Okay. That's a bow in the arrow, bow and an arrow, all right? And you can see it's aiming at the 2 o'clock position, okay? So uh, that's moon aim, and I think that's about as simple as you can get is to think of it as a bow and arrow, shoot, a bow shooting an arrow. You put, uh, you put the, the arrow on the, on the string, and then it naturally points to something. And we're going to have to imagine a clock around it, so we're going to say it aims at the 2 o'clock position, all right? Now, let's go back to the first one, the big toenail. Uh, you have to imagine the string because uh, it's not a half moon. But it's still got the curvy part of a bow, and if you put an arrow on the string, it would aim, and in this case, it's aiming at the 5 o'clock position. Okay, we don't really care about that uh, moon phase because it aims down, and you can't, you can't see it until about 20 minutes after sunset, and uh, we, don't, we don't care to... to uh, to talk about it because it's aiming at the sun. We want to catch this. We want to catch science being a liar. All right, let's go to the one where the illumination is 90, 90%. All right, and uh, I've been seeing this here lately uh, come up out of the haze at moonrise, comes out of the haze, aiming up at 12. All right, that happens uh, two or three days before a full moon. You can see it come up out of the haze and it's aiming up at 12. And you may have to wait a few hours for the sun to get underneath it, but it sure will. And you know something's wrong when the shadow is the underneath part of the moon and the sun is underneath. Okay, that's the word underneath twice. The shadow is underneath the moon and the sun is underneath the moon. So that tells you right there that the, what they've been telling us and telling the whole world for a hundred years that the, the moon is not a light and it reflects the sunlight back at the sun. That's a lie. It does not aim at the sun. If it reflects it back at the sun, it aims at the sun. And they they change things. You know, I've been looking at NASA sites and asking for moon aim explanation. And uh, they give me songs and everything else. You know, they don't want to talk about moon aim. They used to, but they're changing their sites so much because flat earthers are making them change their sites. You know, we catch them here, there, and everywhere. And they just, they try to not answer questions. They don't want you to know this. But you, you won't understand um, the that it doesn't aim until you understand aim. Okay, I'm saying the moon does not aim at the sun half the time. That's enough to say it does not aim at the sun, period. All right? So, you got to learn what aim is. This is aim. Think of the one in the middle until you get it. It's like a bow and arrow, and they put a clock around it, and you got it. Love you.